what's broken in trauma is, is connection, is the capacity to be connected to self and others. The word trauma can be very ambiguous and, and uh, when we use it in relation to climate change, it, I would rather take that word and kind of put it over here and look at um, how people's experiences of climate change show up in their nervous systems. Somatic experiencing is an applied psych psychobiological approach to traumatic stress. So I'm developing a way of analyzing um, uh, interviews and the gestural space uh, that of the interviewee and interviewer that includes sensory, gestural, proprioceptive, and interoceptive layers, and that's based on somatic experiencing models. Media impacts affect everyone who is taking in anything from reading a newspaper to listening to the radio, television, social media, and that's the piece that I was really interested in. Like how are these mediated experiences affecting people? And when I began interviewing people with that context, with mediated uh, as on the table as our conversation topic, they immediately went to direct experiences. And uh, so in Atlantic Canada, people are noticing directly climate change related um, changes uh, to the ecosystems that they are living in. They may have anxiety symptoms. There are a range of different responses to threat and to, to uh, traumatic experience that show up in these ways that get stuck in patterns in the nervous system. And usually that happens because uh, a person was not able to, uh, to stay present safely and self-protect. So their self-protective instincts and movements, and um, which are based in reflexes in the autonomic system, have been interrupted. But the, but the charge and the impulse to self-protect is still there. In somatic experiencing, we work to bear witness to the body's innate capacity to find its way back through the impulse and to deactivate from the charge that's held in the nervous system. I'm discovering that there's a relationship between the direct impacts and perceptions that Atlantic Canadians are having, having and, and these indirect mediated experiences. And it's very interesting the way those are showing up in people's uh, lives and in their nervous systems.